those who agreed, say amen. Yeah. In the book of 1 Samuel, the 23rd chapter. Bear with me on today, please. Bear with me on today. Press, what's the daughter's name? Who's with you for yeah. prayer? Yeah. Elder. Yeah. All right, Elder Patrick is on the hand. And we're going to leave that for five minutes. Bear with me. Amen. Praise God. This has just been a marvelous demonstration of talent all the way around. This church is so blessed to have such great talent here. Bear with me today. It's the beginning of a four-part series on love. On last Sunday, I told you that you are strong enough to get your love life together. Right? Yeah. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On Wednesday, I compelled you that if you say you want a loving relationship, that you want to start living the life that you say that you want. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I say? Because when you start living the life that you say that you want, your spirit will draw somebody else who's living the way you want. Let me say that. Because maybe the microphone went off. <laughs> when you start living the life that you say that you want, your energy will draw somebody else who's living the way that you are. You want to stop drawing stuff that's not good for you? You live a certain way. Because a lot of us, and I've been guilty of it, because I told you I'm just two steps ahead of you. And I'm going to take you through my personal process and journey today, which is why I'm a little bit off of my game, because I'm rather guarded around these issues. But the Lord has provoked me to be completely and totally transparent on my journey, so I'm going to do so. And uh, I'm telling you my story, not because I didn't really want to, but I'm hoping because I really don't. <laughs> but I'm telling you my story because I believe that in my story, you will find your story. You hear what I'm saying to you? Okay, I'm just going to be a point of identification this week. Many of us live under a deep cloud of guilt. Many of us are wrapped in sheets of guilt and shame. And so my hope today is that by sharing the truth of my own journey and my own story, that many of you will get delivered from this idea that there's something wrong with you because you don't have it all together. Yeah. Oh, I know a lot of us live like that. Sure we do. We live under this idea that there is something wrong with us because we have issues. Yeah. And in particular, single people really live under the burden that there must be something wrong with you if you're single. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? How many people have come in your face with that dumb look and ask you, why are you still single? <laughs> and what you should say to them is, why are you so ugly? <laughs> What's wrong with the people? Ask you such stupid things. different place in their journey. And you ought to stop judging yourself because you have not deconstructed all of the issues that are in your heart, in your spirit, that might keep you out of the loving relationship that you want. You ought to stop judging yourself if you are not with Miss Wright, but you happen to be with Miss Wright now. Can I get an amen in the church? 
Because there's nothing wrong with Miss Right Now. Because what Miss Right Now is going to teach you is the things that you need to get together for Miss Right. I'm a big football fan. I'm going to watch the game after the, uh, after the service. You understand? Miss Wright can get you from the 50-yard line to the 30-yard line. I wish I had a church up in here this morning. You hear me? Okay. It's all right to say man, amen, because some of y'all, you know, y'all want to be cute because everybody thinks you got it all together. But this morning, I come to tell you, I know you ain't got it all together, so stop running. Stop pretending. And guess what? Even the people that are in a loving relationship, they ain't got it all together. Now here, Saul was the king of Israel. He ruled on the throne and ruled fairly well. He did have some issues. His biggest problem was the Philistines. Saul could not overcome the Philistines. He could not defeat them. And the Bible says that Goliath was 